how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the Symphonics channel today we're building the high grade cosmic era the force impulse Gundam and you know I built the blast impulse before I have a sword impulse as well I haven't built it yet because I was waiting for this and you know there's gonna be some good photos in the sword impulse review later and anyway that's not the point um, okay so this is the box art and uh, that's the size I got some uh, a little bit of description, uh, weapon introducing, uh, what things can you do, actions. Then we got the other side, we got a the episode 34 scene. And we got some introduction here. And when we open it, we'll see some uh, one, two, three, four packages. And also a instruction manual. And there's an there's a uh, introducing the action. We got the uh, the transformation process here. We got all the other things is here as well. Then we got at the back. We got some actions. We got some uh, got some color guide down below as well, and got some flighter introduction as well. So after I got all the runners out, so we have a lot of runners here. We have the A1 runner, we got some shield, we got some uh, waist part, uh, legs part, um, some backpack, and the flight tire as well. Then we got some inner frame from the B1 part. Next we got some, uh, we got I believe it's the backpack and the feet and the waist and the uh, Gundam head from the D1 runner, that's the A2 runner uh, from uh, for uh, probably legs and other parts as well then we got this uh, C2 runner the C2 runner is a I believe some parts is just uh, some color separation on the waist and on the uh, torso as well that's the backpack wings and the backpack uh, I believe it's the backpack, uh, yeah it's just backpack wings and some connector as well. That's the B2 runner in the frame as well. And we got one clear piece, the one clear piece for the eye for F2. We got some, C, we got the C1 runner blue, uh, got some shoulders, got some uh, uh, lower legs armor, we got some torso part as well, the F1 runner yellow we got the uh, cross on the shield I believe this one is go for the head then we got the polycaps at the side and we got a we got the beam saber effect part and we got a huge stickers I believe all the red parts on the backpack is achieved by stickers I am a little bit disappointed now <laughs> well anyway that's not the point I will see you at the review
Hello, welcome back to the review of the Force Impulse Gundam. So this is the finishing of the whole Gundam. Uh, if you don't know, this is a sort of like a revived version for the really old version Force Impulse. Uh, if you build that Gunpla before, you know it's it looks very terrible <laughs> for me compared to this. Uh, the old version looks terrible. Uh, first, it uses a lot of stickers for color, uh, revealing the top colors. Two, uh, the whole Gunpla give me a feeling of heavy instead of slim because in the settings force impulse supposed to be high mobility type use mobile suit but the old version is too thick and it's heavy hard and it gives a feeling of heavy and it kind of doesn't match the you know the settings of high mobility but this one the revived version gives give me the clear feeling of slim and redesigned the beautiful but I just have one thing to complain for some reason I think the backpack is way bigger than the mobile suit. The scale problem, for some reason, it just give me a little bit of scale problem feeling. But that's not the point. I mean, it does do, it does do a good job on uh, remodeling the whole thing. Uh, basically, there's not much uh, stickers for the coloring except the wings. I will say I will say it later about the wings, but. Overall finish, really good. Most of it is just by parts other, other than the backpack. Yeah. Uh, well, so let's, so let's start with the movements. So as usual, we'll start from the head. The head can move up, move down, and it also can uh, go 360. If you use it with force, you can, use, you can go 360 as well, like this. The hand, the other arm can go 360. Uh, be careful! Don't twist too much. It it might fall out. It's just a little warning there. Be careful! Don't twist it too much. Uh, uh, the arms are double joints, or so nearly 180 uh, bent here. It also can be twi uh, twist around about 360 as well. To the whole arm. The uh, the hand can be twist on 360 as well. Now looking on the waist, the waist uh, can move around f uh, 40 degrees. And it can go from, uh, it have a ball joint in it, so it can go front and back. But because the backpack itself is uh, a little heavy, so the waist will twist back instead of uh, uh, keeping in a balance. So that's something that you need to watch out. The front of this waist can be flipped up. The side of the, of the skirt can be flipped up for a little bit as well. If we take on the whole, the whole feet can move, can bend. At a pretty good angle. Also, this thruster back here give, does give you a little movable uh, option here. The feet is completely f uh, foldable. This is a pretty good design. The ankle armor is also movable as well. The backpack wings is, uh, is all individual movable. Uh, is some of them is movable except the top. There's two wings that can be moved except the top one. And the backpack itself can be separatable, which I will show you later as well. So for the accessory, first we've got uh, two unpainted uh, core fighter. Uh, you got a you, the right side is the regular uh, core fighter, which is the uh, cockpit part, and the the left one will be the one that connect with the backpack, which I will show you later how to do it. And both of them, you need to paint them by yourself. Uh, have fun on painting it. The next two that we got is uh, a expanded shield and a closed shield. You can choose between which piece you want to put it on. I choose to have the expanded shield uh, to for posing, and it does have a connector piece here that you can connect on the left hand or uh, you know both left hand and the right hand got a connector joint there. You can plug it on and you can put the shield on. The next. Uh, accessory that we got is a beam rifle, which you can see I already put on the gunpla. Uh, there's two options though, you can either hold it on the gunpla or you can either plug it on at the back waist. Now we're gonna look at the uh, backpack. So the backpack, the red part down here that is a color separation. Uh, the red part on the wings is all achieved by stickers. This is the part that I pissed off the most because uh, you know the stickers when you, if you accidentally Ripped them off. Uh, as you can see, as you can see here, is already flipping out here. Uh, I'm not sure. Can you see it or not? Uh, let me kind of focus it there. Uh, the stickers at this part already flipping out. So uh, there's the thing that I'm really pissed off. What's wrong with giving us a new red part instead of this um, fist stickers? It just makes me ah. Uh, okay. That's anyway. That's not the point. You can pull out a beam saber at the backpack, and you can put it on with a. Beam saber effect part. 
like this. Really simple, right? As I mentioned before, there's a there's a core core fighter piece part. You can you can plug plug it on with, and you can plug it on as a fighter backpack like this. All right, since I will rip off the backpack, so I'm just gonna as well rip off the whole mode to show you the core fighter um, mode. So now I already rip off the upper body, so I can show. So I will show you the upper body transformation first. So you rip it off like this. You put you put the gun. You put the uh yeah I can't even define it. The right hand of the mobile suit, you flip it up, move to the side, and then next. Okay, sorry about that. My my camera wasn't focusing. Then you move it up, flip it up, and you basically just move it to the side like this. So basically, it will become like this. So the upper part become like this. Then you need to do something on the shield. You need to uh, rip the connector out. It's quite tight, so please be careful. If you put it at the other side. Now, now the now you just need to uh, plug it back on the upper body like this. So the whole transformation process is done now for the upper body like this. And also, if you want to put on on a action base you need this small piece here the small piece uh, you just basically uh, just put it on to these to the uh, waist part and then there's a there's a little hole there you can just put it on like you can just put it on on the action base for the for the lower legs part first you need to flip out the waist then you need to fold both feet in then you just basically flip it up both legs, flip it up, and then you flip it down like this, and done. And you, all you need is just a connection piece to the center. There's a connection piece here, and you can put it on the action base. Quick demonstration here, like this. All right, this is came to an end of the review, so I'm just gonna. You know, wrap it up. Uh, really good design. I just the only thing that I need to complain is why the hell you need stickers for the red part on the wings? Can't you just give me a separate parts? Okay, sorry, that was a little bit overreactive. But what I'm saying is, why couldn't you just give us a new part? Why just why why even need to give us stickers? Like that part could have just uh, like achieved it with a separate. Uh, red piece, but I don't know why they just give us stickers. Just very piss me off. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's not the point. The point is, uh, this suit actually redesigned and it actually become better. Movements are better. Uh, like the I like the new uh, transformation process uh, for the core fighter pieces. I really love that process. I like it. And but it's just is it me or just anybody else think this way because I think the gun plot itself and the backpack the scale doesn't match the backpack seems like way bigger than the mobile suit itself I mean on scale it, it, it's just it's just a feeling for me I don't I don't know why but definitely recommend you to buy it this suit is really fun to play with and you know uh, Impulse got some premium Bandai stuff as well. I already built the Blast Impulse. Uh, I have a Sword Impulse as well, as I said at the beginning. I will build it uh, later. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure when, but you know, if I have the time, I'm just gonna build it. And um, really recommend you buy this suit. Really liking it. And I I would love Bandai to keep making a seed series uh, mobile suit revive because you know the old uh, the old gamblers you know the old C gamblers got some got a lot of improvement need to be done and you know for for the moment that I saw a freedom a strike freedom blast impulse now force impulse they all got several good improvements and I started to think Bandai should you actually start making a seat all the seat mobile suits uh, got a new revive version in order to make it perfect uh, I would like this I would like to buy them if they actually revive them and uh, you know that's my opinion and I'll um, and this is the end of the review hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more reviews and I'll see you next time in a gunplay review goodbye